Good morning everyone, uh, this is Divya Biyani with Manjri Mishra and today we will be uh, giving a brief on the topic Total Bandwidth Server. As you already know, the basic idea of aperiodic server scheduling is for the aperiodic service request to be executed by a server thread. So uh, it is mainly concerned with scheduling a mixed set of hard periodic tasks and soft periodic tasks in a dynamic environment when periodic tasks are executed under the rate monotonic scheduling algorithm but uh, so sp sporadic server algorithm <coughs> tries to serve aperiodic or sporadic tasks as soon as they arrive uh, it s since an aperiodic task runs at unpredictable interval sporadic parameters are used these are the subclasses of aperiodic parameters uh, that puts aperiodic task on a budget it preserves its server execution time uh, at its high priority level until an aperiodic request occur but uh, on the other hand sp uh, sporadic server makes the execution of the aperiodic request to be delayed uh, when the server has long period with, uh, which is due to the fact that when period is long server server is period is long server is always scheduled with a fa with a far deadline to so it reduces the aperiodic response time we come up with we have come up with two approaches the first approach is to use sporadic server with a shorter period but it increases the runtime overhead because it will increase context switching in periodic tasks owing to the frequent replenishment required due to the reduced capacity so the second the second approach is the total bandwidth server which we, which we have uh, demonstrated demonstrated through our code and the gra uh, sh shown in graphics uh, shown in graphics the overall uh, overall processor utilization of the aperiodic load exceeds the maximum value us over here which is the main idea now divya biyani will show the demo of the total bandwidth server as manjri has already given us a, to a brief idea about total bandwidth server now let me show you uh, one, uh, the live demo for one of our test cases of total bandwidth server now since firstly we had to compile it, I have already compiled it so we are directly running it. So uh, it will first ask the number of periodic tasks and uh, this particular test case we have two periodic tasks so I am going to enter the details of the periodic tasks. Firstly it will ask about the computation time of periodic tasks and then the uh, time period of the periodic tasks. So for our P1 our computation time is 3 and our time period is 6. For our P P2, our computation time is 2 and our time period is 8. So now, once the periodic task details are done, it will ask the number of aperiodic requests. Now, in this particular test case, we have 3 aperiodic requests. Now, for the aperiodic re request, it will ask about the arrival time and the computation time. So now, the uh, our uh, arrival time of A1 is 3 and computation time is 1. So now the arrival time of A2 is 9 and computation time is 2. For the third uh, periodic request our arrival time is 14 and our computation is 1. Now uh, once we are done with the, all the details now when I press enter it will do all the computations and then it will display us uh, uh, the schedule. So let's see. So here is the schedule. The blue lines indicate the arrival and the red line indicates the deadline. And the below uh, the particular rectangles were showing uh, the execution of that particular requ request or task. Now I have taken a screenshot of this particular example and so now I will explain to you uh, what was happening in this particular uh, whole uh, particular test case. Now. Uh, at t equals to 0 as you can see we have two uh, tasks that is one is the p1 task and one is the p2 task now these two tasks will be in the ready queue and now we will see which task has to be get, uh, executed first now in total bandwidth server the procedure that we follow to uh, get the particular task that has to be executed is edf that is the earliest deadline first so now as we can see this particular task has comparatively a lesser deadline than the second task. So firstly this particular task will be executed. Now similar situation will happen at t equals to 1 and at t equals to 3. 3. Now at t equals to 3 we 
have got this particular uh, a periodic request with us and our p1 has been completed p1's first uh, compute uh, task is completed it will come again at 6 t equals to 6 now at this particular t equals to 3 time we have again two uh, tasks and the ready uh, ready queue one is the p2 task and second is the a1 request now as you can see uh, the deadline or the deadline of a1 is comparatively lesser than the deadline of p2 so our p a1 will get executed first now after this gets executed there is only at t equals to 4 there uh, now after this gets executed there is only one uh, request a task that is uh, p2 at t equals to 4 now you must be wondering how did we uh, when there was no deadline now here the time periods were given so we know the deadline here there was no deadline given so how did we calculate this deadline so now we calculated this deadline by the formula of the total bandwidth server uh, which includes the arrival time of the uh, periodic request the deadline of the previous request if not then zero then it is considered zero also uh, it also takes in consideration the computation time and the utilization factor so the formula is maximum of the arrival time or deadline plus the computation time upon utilization factor now in this particular case uh, as we can see the uh, the arrival time is 3 and the deadline of the previous request as there is no previous request so we will take 0 so maximum of 3 comma 0 is 3 plus now we can find out uh, the us that is the utilization factor of the server and that is 1 minus up utilization factor of the periodic task now the utilization factor of the periodic task is 3 by 6 plus 2 by 8 so that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 0.75 so the utilization factor of server that is us is 0.25 and now the computation time was 1 so 1 upon 0.25 is 4 plus 3 7 so here from there we got the deadline 7 and similarly we have taken the deadlines 17 and 21 for the upcoming task so now uh, we were at t equals to 4 now there are there was only one task so it got executed so similarly uh, the, these are the other tasks that gets executed in this fashion itself now I will show you one of the examples where scheduling is not possible because of overflow because of the deadline clashes so here we'll again take the number of periodic tasks to be 2 and we will take uh, one of the computation time to be 3 and time period to be 6 now the second computation time of periodic tasks 2 is 2 and the time period is 4 now it will ask the number of a periodic request so I will give 3 and uh, arrival time to be 3, computation time to be 1, arrival time to be 9, computation time to be 2, arrival time to be 14, computation time to be 1 and so it will show the error that is the deadline of the task A1 passed before complete execution. So this is how our uh, total demo works, program works that if a scheduling is possible it will compute and show you the visualization of that scheduling if it does not work it will give an assertion error telling that the deadline of this particular task has been passed and so this schedule is not possible so kindly change it uh, this is all from the uh, live demo side thank you thank you